हेलो एवरी वन दिस टॉपिक इज ऑन द ब्लड कंपोजिशन एंड फंक्शन सो वॉट इज ब्लड ब्लड इज अ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इट्स वॉल्यूम इज फाइव टू सिक्स लीटर्स इन मेल्स एंड फोर टू फाइव लीटर्स इन फीमेल्स इट इज स्लाइटली अल्कलाइन विथ पी एच ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट फोर इट्स कलर्स वेरीज फ्रॉम ब्राइट टू डार्क रेड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ आयन which is present in the structure of your hemoglobin it has a salty metallic taste oh here we are not a vampires to taste our blood or someone else but if the bleeding occurs inside the mouth then try to taste your blood now the functions of the blood three major functions transportation regulation and protection first of all we are going to see the transportation function respiratory red blood cells or erythrocytes transport oxygen from lungs to different types of cells and carbon dioxide from cells to the lungs second one is the nutritive blood absorb nutrients from the digested food in gastrointestinal tract and transport to all the cells in the body third one is the excretory function metabolic waste excess water and ions and other molecules not needed by the body are carried by the blood to the kidneys and excreted in the urine so here the transportation function of the blood includes the transport of respiratory gases transport of different type of nutrients and transport of excretory substances now we are going to see the regulation as a function of the blood hormonal regulation blood carries hormones from their site of origin to distant target tissues where they perform the regulatory functions so hormones yes you are right it is a release from the endocrine glands and we are going to tell the gland endocrine only when the gland releases substances directly into the blood and via the blood these substances or hormones transported to the their target cells temperature blood is responsible to carry body heat to the surface in high temperature environment as well as to keep body heat in within low temperature environment so for example if your hand is not receiving the proper blood supply then what will happen the temperature of your hand becomes start to decrease and once the blood supply is resumed the te temperature of your hand becomes normal to that of the 37 degree celsius which is a normal human body temperature now we are going to see the protection as a function of the blood clotting the clotting mechanism protects against blood loss when vessels are damaged platelets are the main cell which helps in the clotting mechanism immune the immune function of blood is performed by leukocytes that protects against many disease causing agents major components of the blood hematocrit what is hematocrit percentage of blood volume that is rbc or red blood cells the hematocrit values for males is equal to 47 percentage plus or minus 5 percentage and for females 42 percentage plus or minus 5 percentage the hematocrit which is also known as packed cell volume which consists of 55 percentage of plasma as well as 45 percentage of erythrocytes in between the layers of the plasma and erythrocytes or pack cell volume there is a buffy coat which consists of leukocytes and platelets the concentration of these both the cells is less than 1 percentage of the whole blood so in the hematocrit or pack cell volume we are considering only rbc or erythrocytes first of all the venous blood samples are collected from the antecubital vein from the cubital fossa later this transferred to the test tube and once 
and we have to put these test tubes inside the centrifuge machine and after some hour we are getting this concentration pack cell volume percentage of the cellular elements rbc wbc and platelets in the whole blood but here pcv is considered equivalent to the volume of packed red cells or so called hematocrit value as the volume of wbcs and platelets is very less in 100 ml of blood pcv is 45 ml hematocrit is the volume of rbcs expressed as percentage hematocrit value in males is about 45 percentage and hematocrit value in females about 42 percentage now here is the composition of the whole blood which include different types of cells as well as plasma the cells are of three types rbc wbc and platelets rbc are known as red blood cells or erythrocyte wbcs are known as white blood cells or leukocytes and the third cell is the platelet these rbcs wbc and platelets around 45 percentage of the whole blood are present now the next is the plasma which is 55 percentage this plasma includes water 91 percentage protein 7 percentage the protein are known as plasma protein because the proteins which are present in the plasma there are three major types of proteins albumin globulin and fibrinogen globulins are again alpha globulin beta globulin and gamma globulin plasma consists of clotting factors there are different types of clotting factors are present in the plasma it also contains salt sugars hormones vitamins etc which is around 1.5 percentage composition of the blood blood consists of formed elements that are suspended and carried in a fluid called plasma the formed elements are three types of cells erythrocytes function for oxygen transport leukocyte function as a immune defense and platelets which functions as a blood clotting now what is plasma simply the plasma is equal to blood minus blood cells now we are going to see the characteristic of the plasma plasma is a straw color fluid made of water around 90 percentage and other contents include proteins proteins majorly there are three proteins are available which is known as plasma proteins first one is the albumin 60 percentage manufactured in the liver are the most abundant second one is the globulin are immune bodies and fibrinogen for blood clotting nutrients which are present in the plasma includes glucose amino acids lipids and cholesterol electrolytes which includes sodium potassium calcium magnesium hydrogen chloride bicarbonate phosphate and sulfate waste material which includes urea creatinine uric acid and bilirubin gases we includes the oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen and others are the protein bound hormones now we are going to see the plasma proteins types of plasma proteins albumin globulin and fibrinogen globulin are of three types alpha globulin beta globulin and gamma globulin alpha globulins and beta globulins again having a two subtypes alpha 1 and alpha 2 globulins as well as beta 1 and beta 2 globulins under different pathological conditions the protein level depart from normal range the types of plasma protein one method is available to differentiate different types of plasma protein is the electrophoresis Now we are going to see the functions of plasma proteins. Transport of substances. 
I already said that there are three major plasma proteins are available which which are highest in their concentration albumin globulin and fibrinogen but still there are different kinds of plasma proteins are present in the plasma which are much less in concentration we are going to see in under the transport of different types of substances albumin transport fatty acids bilirubin calcium and drugs transferrin transport ions ceruloplasmin transport copper transcortin transport cortisol and corticosterone lipoproteins transport lipids heptoglobulin transports free hemoglobin thyroxin binding globulin transport thyroxin retinol binding protein transport retinol now the second is the osmotic regulation plasma proteins are colloidal and non diffusible and exert a colloidal osmotic pressure which helps to maintain normal blood volume and a normal water content in the interstitial fluid and the tissue albumin content is most important in a regulation of colloidal osmotic or oncotic pressure decrease in albumin level result in loss of water from the blood and its entry into the interstitial fluid causing edema next is the catalytic functions for example lipase is for removal of lipids from the blood immunoglobulins going to combine with the foreign antigens and removing them complement system removes cellular antigens enzyme inhibitors removes enzymes by forming complexes with them for example alpha 1 antitrypsin combines with elastase trypsin and protects the hydrolytic damage of tissue such as lungs some proteins increase during acute phase and protects the body for example alpha 1 antitrypsin alpha 2 macroglobulins next is the blood clotting many factors are involved in clotting mechanism and prevent loss of excessive amount of blood for example clotting factor 9 8 thrombin and fibrinogen an excess of deficiency leads to a disease hemophilia and thrombus formation next is the anticoagulant activity or thrombolysis plasmin which is present in the plasma breaks down the thrombin and dissolves the clot next is the buffering capacity proteins in plasma helps to maintain acid base balance mostly all the plasma proteins are synthesized in the liver now what is serum serum is equal to plasma minus fibrinogen and clotting factors hope you understand the different types of blood cells and plasma composition so here the first lecture in the system of blood is composition and functions of the blood